Hey guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are watching part two of the To Be Continued from last time. This is, did I already say season four, episode 14? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> anyway, if I didn't, it's season four, episode 14. Uh, I, it is still the same day. Just like 30 minutes later, I made some more tea, this time decaf, because my throat was bothering me. Took a little bit of a break because <coughs> I think the talking is, is activating my throat hurting. Anyway, still a little bit sick, still gonna just try and, you know, push through. I am starting to feel a little bit worse than I did last episode, but usually, I can sort of forget about that and just get into the episodes. So I apologize if this is more low energy than usual, but you know, you, what can you do? Sometimes you get sick, that's life. Um, Loki has joined us now and Sam is still here. He's just right off screen. So he might come in and out of screen. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, oh, really Loki? Okay, Loki just left. Um, <laughs> You just never know. Calvin might be home, so he could be going to say something. Um, anyway, last time on Battlestar Galactica, we had Gaeta siding with Zarek and making some poor choices and, you know, taking over the Galactica. Quite a few people died. Adama they attempted to imprison, but then he escaped, but now they've cornered him because he let Rosalind escape and they, you know, did like a smoke bomb, light bomb thing. And we don't really know how he is, but I just, I don't think they would kill Adama off screen. So I think that he's fine, at least for now. Uh, we also have Lee and Starbuck fighting. Um, Zarek's trying to take over, like I said, Gata's helping him because Gata just doesn't really make the best choices. And yeah, that's kind of where we are. Um, I don't really have a lot more to say. Let's just find out where this episode's gonna take us. Okay, Adama's, okay. He's a little bit, not great, but he's alive. This is President Laura Rodman aboard the Raptor. Do not fire. Gage general transmission. Gage. Gage. Grabbed it, sir. Too late. Too late. Galactica Nacho. Tally, I have the target. Maneuvering in position. Frack, Nacho. I'm in. I'm Come in. on, hot dog. Shoot Nacho. They've got a missile lock on us. Hot dog's gonna shoot Nacho? Maybe? Come on, hot dog. Oh. Okay, well, they missed. Good. Well, what about the final four? Terrell, Anders, tied. They're still over there. What about them? If you jump, you'll never see them again. If you stay put, you give Adama a chance to save them. Yeah. Put your ship in the middle of the fleet. Use the fleet for cover. Give Adama some time. But what it No, Gator won't jeopardize the fleet. He doesn't have the guts now. Come on, do it! She, I think she's right. He won't kill that many humans, I don't think. Loki, can you come here? I care too much for this ship to let it be overrun by rats. Well, you cared as much about the people on it. What? Bitch. Bitch. I... You have no freaking idea. Now then show me. Punch! You want to save some lives? Pop. Get on the radio and call Rosalind. Tell her to come back and surrender. Punch him in the face. No. Punch him in his... I'll ask you fucking one more time, Admiral. Little bitch face. Admiral. Admiral. You're the Admiral. So you call up Roslyn, make her laugh. Sir, the base ship. It's in the fleet, right? They're moving into the fleet. Yeah, because they're not fucking dumb. They're hiding in the fleet. Yeah. Battle station, stand down. Mm-hmm. The Admiral is charged with treason, desertion, 
giving aid and comfort to the enemy and gross dereliction of duty. When the punishment for these crimes is death by firing squad. What did he desert? I mean, when... Well, I'm not a very good shot. When he left to go and then come he back and save everybody? To a court martial. We need a lawyer to handle his defense. Why, why are you doing that? Yeah, thank you. Why? For justice. It's not justice, you dumbass. Bring in the judges. I will be serving as judge. I see. How is... So we've run out of ships, captains, then. Captains are too busy protecting their vessels from the Cylon Bay Ship Admiral that are not welcomed into this. You know Zarek isn't impartial. Shove it up your ass. Thank you. That's all I have to say to that need a bitch, too. You are charged with treason, by with who? desertion, yeah, with by who? comfort and aid to the joke. enemy, and you will answer for these crimes. Oh, yeah. I did bathe them, wash them, made their meals. I love the enemy. Could I have a few minutes with Mr. Adama just to impress upon him the gravity of these charges? Please. You want them to understand. I know you. Fuck know. off, Gata. Fuck, fuck all the way off. It's dumb that Gata's like, oh, I want him to have a, a trial, like a fair trial, and then you make you think that letting Zarek be the one in charge of that makes it fair in any way. Zarek fucking hates Adama. But at the end of the day, still stand by your president. You're not their president. I think you should leave now. Mr. Vice President. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you, bitch. You ain't the president. Fuck off. Fuck. Fuck off. Shoot them. How did you think that he is the good guy in any way? Z Gata. Gata. Somebody just shoot Zarek. Guys, this show is pissing me off so bad right now. This is so... Gata, this is who you sided with. Dumbass, dumbass, fucking dumbass! You... I never agreed to this. Yes, you did. No, this is murder! This is a coup that you began. You're a dumbass! To take command and destroy our enemies before they destroy us. You're a dumbass. What have you done? What have you done? You enabled this. You fucking dumbass. He is alive and he will take command of this fleet again. And when that day comes, he's gonna know who stuck with him and who ran. Now, who do you wanna be? Who do you wanna be? Go! He's letting him go. Yeah, he doesn't agree with Zarek. Obviously. Not completely. Zarek! That's good. I really hate Zarek. <laughs> Never pull the pin. Not funny. Yeah, it would have been if you thought of it. No. Not funny. <laughs> Did he just die? He got shot like right here. Oh my god. Oh. I don't think that you can survive that. We just got word that time the skin jobs escaped. Don't worry, sir. You're dumb, Gata. You're dumb. You are dumb. You would all have died. The prisoner is guilty as charged. You can't eat it. Like, that's not a fucking a trial. Yeah. This is an asylum. Yes. Well, Kill Sarah. Jam that signal. Not Why the frack? Is she still broadcasting? Where's Hoshi? Get that little frack back in the CIC. Shut down your FTO drive. 
because fuck you, Zarek. Stop. Oh, you guys. Yeah, he's dead, baby. Oh, okay, thank God, thank God. Thank God this little pen worked. Fucking fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're a dumb fuck. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I've always respected you. Thank you. But I hate the Cylons. And I can't take orders from a leader who won't fight them. Oh, Colonel. God. Stand up. This is Tom Zarek, president of the You're not Colony. president, you dumbass. It's over, Laura. Saul Chai was killed attempting to escape. That's not true. Madonna was tried and found guilty of his crimes. That's not true either. Firing squad executed in this That's room. not true. It's done, Laura. We need to think about the people of this fleet now <laughs> and surrender. You're wrong. No. Good job, Rosalind. Not now. Not ever. Not ever. Do you hear me? I will use every cannon, every bomb. Every bullet, every weapon I have down to my own eye teeth to end you. I swear it! I'm coming for all of you! Okay, but if she does destroy the ship, well, that's gonna be bad because they're actually wrong. Thank you, Cheryl. This went offline. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Get a crew. Get someone down to the engine room I right now. Them. Come on, move it. Gata. Gata, launch your birds. Gata, wake up. What the frack are you doing? Launch your birds. Weapons hold. Are you finally going to wake the fuck up and not be a dumbass? Give me a weapon. Yeah, fuck you, Zarek. I hope they stick you out a fucking airlock. This is the Admiral. Stand down. Yes, yes. I repeat, Galactica secure. Stand down. Yes. 
Yes. What? Uh-oh, what's that? What the fuck was that? Stopped hurting or itching. Uh, honestly, you guys, um, I don't know. I I know that they're trying to make me feel bad for Gaeta in the end, and a part of me, a part of me does, but also like he just he just got, he just went so far off the rails at the end that it's it's hard for me to to feel that for him anymore because like it, just, it makes no sense to me that he would genuinely think that Adama was the bad guy after everything and Zarek wasn't especially after Zarek killed the entire fucking council or whatever they were called in cold blood like he he said this is murder like he still knew that and then he still was like let's execute Adam like the math is not mathing Gaeta like you, you it just it doesn't make sense the way that his mind was working at the end you know so I don't know I just once again, like with the last episode, I just, I, I got so frustrated at Gaeta and at Zarek just because, like, they, oh, sorry, that's bothering me. They know, they know, they both know on some level, Zarek especially, that Adama is the fucking good guy and he is trying to help. And like, it just, it was pissing me off the whole time because Gaeta is saying like, Adama doesn't, like, oh, it's a shame if you only cared about the fleet. And then he's saying, you know, you did all this stuff, like you deserted us. And it's like, sure, if you look at that stuff in a vacuum and you don't have all of the information and you don't know the nuances of those situations you could argue those things but Gaeta isn't sitting on the outside without any of the context for these decisions like he knows why Adama and Lee left and then they came back right like they had to leave because they would have everybody just would have died they didn't have a plan. They didn't have an idea of what they were going to do. There was no, you know, way to communicate what everybody needed from the positions that they were in. So I think it's really, it was really frustrating to watch Gaeta make these arguments with like, he's making the argument like he's somebody who doesn't know the context of the situations. But we know for a fact that he is somebody who does know the context of the situations. And we know for a fact that he's been there and he's seen the choices Adama's made and why he's made those choices. And he knows that those were the correct choices. Like, the only thing that I could understand Gaeta having an issue with, like, genuinely, is him working with the Cylons but again Gaeta still and I can understand why even knowing the context of that situation that he would be upset but he also 
does know the context of those situations as well. So that's just really frustrating. And Gator was just pissing me off. And like the fact that you would be willing after what you saw me talking to Gata to let Zarek be the one in charge and to kill Adama is just mind boggling. Like Zarek is not a good person. He doesn't care about people. He cares about power. And like, honestly, like good riddance to him. I'm not shedding any fucking tears. I at one point probably would have shed tears for Gata, but not right now. It's just, I think that the issue is like, we were able to see moments of hesitation from Gata. We were able to see moments of like indecision, which I think is important. But the fact that he had those moments and then still was like, I'm going to side with the bad guy, Zarek. Like, that's what fucking boggles my mind. Like, he sits there and they have a farce of a trial. And Zarek says guilty and get a firing squad. And Gata goes along with it. Like, I feel like Gata is kind of the perfect example of you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain because there was times he could have died as a hero and he did not and he ended up here you know it's just I'm sorry I know that I probably yell a lot at the screen in this episode I know I just called people dumbasses <laughs> and said I hate you. Um, uh, you guys, that's about as like concise as I can be when I'm this emotionally invested in the characters, right? Like, I know that probably if I gave myself more time, I could have a more differentiated viewpoint of Gaeta and his choices. And I really do try to, and I have tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, even though he's, you know, not always my favorite because I do see all the shit that he's gone through. And I think that at the end of the day, I can understand how he came to make the choices that he makes. I can also vehemently disagree with them and feel like I wish that he could have just reflected a bit more and made different choices, you know. Um, Zarek was absolutely the wrong person to align himself with. Uh, I get why he chose Zarek. He didn't really have a lot of options. But yeah, it was just it was just a bad choice. Like, Zarek was not who you thought he was. Gaeta. He was not the good guy. He was not even the means to an end bad guy. You know, like he was the evil that you're trying to fight. And if you only care about eradicating Cylons, sure, I guess he's that guy. But if you care about protecting the people, the humans in the fleet, then he's not that guy. And it... <sighs> It just, it really, really boggles my mind that he thought that he was that guy. And like, again, I, I can understand it from Gage's point of view, but like, I just think it's just so fundamentally the wrong choice that it's hard for me to like, even try to get inside his brain and rationalize it like at a point like I can understand how he would set the things in motion but then after x y and z happens I and you see the indecision on his fucking little brain I just don't understand how he could keep going down the path that he went down like when you see that you're wrong you can make a different choice from that point and he never did right 
Like, I feel that there were moments where he saw that he was wrong and the choices he was making were wrong. And he still was like, you know, and for a penny and for a pound sort of thing. And it's just like, you could just, you could just make a different choice. Like that one soldier that let Tyrrell go, thank God for him, um, and helped Lee and them. Like, you could, you could be him. You could go down the wrong path hit a point where you realize this is fucked up, I'm going down the wrong path, and then turn around and go back up the right path, you know? And I just, I think that's what's most frustrating with Gaeta for me is it's not that he went down the wrong path with Zarek, although that is frustrating in and of itself. It's that at every possible point where he could have instead chose to do the right thing, and I know that he, like, in his mind, he was thinking it was the right thing. But I feel like there was multiple moments where we see him question that and realize that it's not the right thing. And he still kept going down that path. And I just, that's what I think is so frustrating um, with Gaeta in this episode. And, like, I'm assuming the end of his arc. Um, so... Yeah, it just, it sucks because I think Gaeta could have had a different arc that I would have liked more. But then I also understand, you know, not every character is going to grow and develop and change in a way that you like. So, you know, he just, he started off as a character we liked and then kind of became one we don't, I mean, I don't, I'm speak. I should only speak for myself. I can't speak for other people. Maybe you guys liked him until the very end, but he kind can turn into a character that I really very much did not like in this episode with the choices that he made. Zarek, I have not liked for a long time. <laughs> so honestly, like, what the fuck do I expect from Zarek just to piss me off? And he delivered on that. So mission accomplished. I can't believe he stuck around for this long. Interestingly, Zarek is a character that I actually really liked and thought made really salient and interesting points when we were first introduced to him way back in season one when they were talking when he was talking about like how fucked up the prison system is and how um it's not really a place for rehabilitation and I just thought that he made some valid interesting points that you know we in our world in the United States with our fucked up prison system could, you know, maybe take some pointers from. Um, but he just deviated so far after that from who I, I mean, maybe he's always been that character, but I felt that he was, there was moments throughout the show where I felt that he was becoming a better version of himself. Like after new, like during New Caprica with the Roslyn arc, during the beginning with the prison arc, and then he, during the black market thing, you know, it's just, it, I don't know. I feel like I, it's hard to decide if his character had any sort of redeeming qual. I think at some points he had redeeming qualities and then kind of almost immediately they would get taken away. <laughs> so, I mean, he was a very interesting villain. I think he was a villain character. Um, foil to the protagonists, at least, of the show. Um, yeah, it's interesting because you guys know that there's been quite a few moments where I've disagreed vehemently with Roslyn and choices that she's made. And, like, without hesitation, for half a second, I'm like, Roslyn over Zarek, like, no question. No question if I had to choose between those two. Um, I think Lee, like I said before, will be a good, hopefully, future leader. But, I mean, God, now they're going to have to reassemble the entire fucking council or whatever it's called. Quorum? Quorum? Right? Um, because Zarek fucking killed everybody because they didn't accept that he was president because he wasn't. <sighs> Oh, he's so evil. I don't know, you guys. I was very concerned for the 
for Adama in this episode. I feel quite proud of Gaius that he is, you know, kind of, I feel like his character growth has been really good throughout the show. We've seen him become a much less selfish character and he's definitely become, you know, a much more, hey buddy, what you want? Much more caring character for other people. Like he is obviously still, you know, selfish, but he obvious, um, or he also seems to really care about other people now. And that's been really fun to watch with him because I've, I would have never predicted watching the miniseries that Gaius would be a character that I like so much now. Um, just because he was such an asshole uh, when the show first started. Um, a fun asshole to watch, but just not a character that I would have thought that I would have genuinely enjoyed so much. Um, but he was, or he is. Uh, so that's been kind of fun to watch. I wonder why the character design for Head 6, it's, I don't know if it's meant to evoke, but it's kind of evoking like Virgin Mary vibes, right? With like the hair and the long flowy dress. Like that's very much what it's giving and I assume that's what it's meant to give, um, which is interesting. I'm curious as to where they're gonna go with that. I'm also just curious because we only have, let's see, six episodes and one movie left of this entire show and it still feels like everything is so up in the air. I'm just, I wonder how they are going to be able to wrap all of this up in a way that feels satisfactory. Um, I know that some people have said that Battlestar Galactica starts a lot better than it ends, you know? Um, so. I don't know. I've really enjoyed all the seasons I've watched, but I'm really curious to see what my perspective is once I've finished the show. Um, as I've told you guys before, I really hope that it ends on a more hopeful note and like there's this idea that humanity could continue. Like that's that's where I hope it ends. I don't know how it will end, <laughs> but I hope that that's where it ends. Now, um, because I do talk a lot about the, uh, the idea of the Cylons and the humans and coexisting and, um, I haven't always viewed the Cylons as necessarily the ultimate evil, although they have done ultimate evil acts, um, <clears throat> at least not all of them as a blanket statement, right? Um, I do think it's worth talking about that a lot of the humans including that one guy, he's like, oh, I don't remember his name, but at the end he was talking to Adama and he's like, you know, I really respect you and I, yeah, I'm sorry, but I just can't get on board with like the Cylons. And I think that that perspective is valid, you know? And I think that there should be a way that people can discuss that However, I do also think that if the Cylons are humanity's only hope of continuing, then people as a whole, maybe society as a whole, needs to make some sort of choice of like, are we willing to allow the Cylons to help us if it means that humanity survives or do we wish to deny their help and with that, possibly let humanity die, you know? And I think that either choice would be valid um, if everybody made it together, you know? Um, I do think that the show has definitely sort of, I don't know if, I, if I'll say they've waffled back and forth, but they've kind of left it open to interpretation maybe about if the Cylons as a whole um, are the ultimate evil or not, right? Like, should we root for, because there's obviously some Cylons that they want us to be attached to and root for, 
Ty, uh, Athena, Sam, um, Cheryl. Like, there are definitely six, um, to an extent, Leoban, now that he's less of an asshole, I guess. Like, there are certain Cylons that they want you to root for and that you want to, you know, win and have, like, a happy life. And there's other Cylons that you absolutely hate, like Cavill and, you know, some Simon, I think. The Simon, Simon and Doral, right? Those are the ones that we don't like, I think. And so it's like, there are certain, right, there's this empty, um, Cylons that we are supposed to root for. So I don't know. I don't know what I should want. Should I want there to be a possibility of uh, humans and Cylons coexisting together, living happy lives together? That's kind of what I want, but like at least for the Cylons that I like. The Cylons that I don't like, Cavill, like in any version of Cavill can go fuck himself. Um, Simon, he was the creepy doctor, I believe, also. And Doral, like, I don't remember too much about, he was the, he was annoying at times, but like those ones, also, sorry guys, my throat is rebelling from talking so much, but those ones like obviously were against but then there are the ones that we again are for so i don't know i just think it's worth pointing out that like this decision of should humanity work with the cylons going forward or a lot form some sort of alliance with them or at least a truce it's 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 just an interesting idea and it just needs to be talked about because I do try to, to stay, you know, I've played devil's advocate for the Cylons because, you know, they also were enslaved by the humans and treated like shit. So it's kind of like, you can kind of understand why they would rebel in some form. But anyway, sorry, I'm rambling again. Uh, essentially, it's like, I can understand why the humans would be against the Cylons. I can't say that I would feel differently um, unless I had had like a relationship with like an Athena or a Tyrell or, you know, somebody that would completely shift my perspective on what a Cylon was and what they were capable of. Um, so I can understand humans as a whole having a sort of much more wary idea of Cylons. I'm just curious where it's gonna go and like where Adama goes from here and Roslyn and the government and the integration of Cylon technology and just all of that because obviously we don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point and my throat wants me to stop. I'm sure you guys want me to stop, so I'm going to. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. I'm sorry these past two episodes have been so angry. Um, hopefully the next one will, will be less angry. I don't know. Sorry, I yelled at you a lot. I'm sure Billy will tone down my volume in the reaction section. I hope so, for your sake. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe. If you aren't already, sorry, my brain is still buffering. You can also watch the next episode right now over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube as well as my entire full-length reaction to this episode and every single episode thus far of Battlestar Galactica, including the miniseries, the webisodes, and the movie that I've seen so far. So I think that's it. Uh, I hope to see you guys next time for episode 15, which I believe is the last episode before the movie and then the last four episodes. Or five episodes. Five episodes. <sighs> Alright. Until next time. Oh, I just hurt myself again. Bye, guys. Hopefully I will not be sick the next time I see you. <laughs>